Hey, welcome to a new Project Camp update. So we bought this big piece of land and are prototyping a more sustainable way of living. Not sure how it's gonna go, but let's see. And in the previous video you could see us building a pizza oven and finding some local materials to build something with. And in today's video we're actually gonna build a roof. So here we have all the wood we got from the sawmill. However, the dimensions are not always very accurate, I noticed. Beams should be 15, they're like 14 and a half, 15.2. So it's gonna be a bit of a puzzle, actually, to put it all together. Time to chop. Hmm, okay, so it turns out uh, because the wood is a bit thicker, it does fit exactly not under the solder. Maybe one turning. No, still too big. Hmm, maybe cutting in another improvised way with a handsaw, like step by step. Okay, so here's the problem. Uh, when we ordered the wood, I guess we gave them a cutting list, so I assumed they would cut it in the right size. They didn't do it, they all left them a bit longer. I thought this wouldn't be a big problem because we have uh, saws to cut it. It's only now I realize that our saws are actually not uh, big enough to cut the whole way. So with this one it's not possible to cut. And with this one we have this improvised way, the tool to align the saw with. We don't really have a proper one, so I use this one but the saw easily slides on top, which makes you go not very straight. So I think I'm going for this approach with this saw, but I might need to make a little bit of a tool. So after the beams are cut, it's time to sand them. Yeah, I will be sanding the beams so that afterwards we can apply some oil. So we're gonna have a little production line. Good. Good. So we're now almost ready. Rita is sanding the last one and we've already been oiling a bit. So after everything is sanded we can go full on oiling.
So now we're going to cut out a few areas uh, in the beams so they can lean in each other. And we're going to do this with a router. So we're going to take off like two centimeters here. already taking out all the wood areas for the connections. Next I'm gonna drill the holes uh, to make sure we can just put in the screw and I made a little mold. I mean just very simple from some leftover material but it saves me measuring. So I'm just gonna put it in the right spot. So we've been treating the wood mainly with a linseed oil, which is very natural. But these guys will be digged down and they will be needing an extra boost. So we have this guy here, which is also somewhat an oil. Seems quite more chemical, therefore a bit more resistant. And we will just put on the down part with this oil. So we have uh, some sort of foundation for our new shade roof for the oven. We put, we don't want to use cement or concrete or anything. So what we've done is to put a piece of galvanized pipe where we are going to put our beams. Then in the bottom of this pipe is going to be some roof tiles, broken roof tiles from the workspace to avoid the wood to touch straight away the earth. This also protects the wood from the earth and gives a bit of a strength to all the structure. Foundations are now in place, roof tiles are in, wood is cut. It. So uh, now it's time to assemble everything. Got a few big screws. It's a bit challenging because it's a lot of heavy wood with just three people. So we need to see a little bit how we're going to put it all together and lift up the beams. So it should be good exercise.
Warten. Ja. Gut. Very straight. All right, so the structure is ready. Next, we're gonna put on the beams so we can connect the roof tiles. Lunch time. Brunch time. So this is our first test. It's working. It's working, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? What does it do? Um, Bit of shade. What's next, guys? Roof tiles. Exciting. Yeah. I've been a lot. There, four. Here.
So after all the roof tiles are up, we needed to do a bit more leveling. Finally we also add two walls to avoid wind and create a bit of a cozy place. And the walls are actually a pretty big surface area, and we didn't oil them yet, so we tried a more effective way of using the compressor. So here's the final result, a little wooden shed. Made from cedar wood, line seat oil and local roof tiles. With a pizza oven and space for a table on the side. A chimney to keep the smoke outside and a water ditch to collect the water. It provides a shade for the hot sun in the summer and a cover for the rain in winter. So we go from this setup to this. But yeah, okay, I see what you're thinking. The real question is, does it actually work? So we now uh, fired up the oven, uh, made the dough, so now we're ready to bake some pizzas in a dry structure. Pizza. Thank you. So it's now uh, raining, but we can eat pizza dry. Okay, so that was it for this video. We now have a dry roof to bake pizzas. <laughs> Hot pizzas. Uh, next week we might actually not have a video because we're waiting for some materials to come. But the video that is coming next is going to be the last one of this season and it's going to be a cool one. So make sure to watch that one, update number 40. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next update.